Well, the time has finally come. I've been speaking about this for a long time. And by a long time, I mean like three weeks. Uh, but I'm going to do it. Finally going to play Super Metroid Special, where you have all of the items and you finish the game straight away. No, I'm kidding. That's just really fun. Oh, I should probably take off the... <laughs> Whoops. Uh, yeah, don't mind that. I don't know what that could possibly mean. What do you mean this is the pre-stream? 1994, that's when I was born. Nintendo. Why am I watching this? I don't know. I guess in case you really want to see it. It's really weird because I knew. <laughs> I've always known this is Metroid 3. But I never watched this scene. So to see it be called Metroid 3 just feels really strange. Oh, the, the controls are probably fine. I was thinking about it for a minute, but honestly. The last Metroid is in captivity. The galaxy is at peace. Yeah. I first battled the Metroids on planet Z... I'm gonna say ZBs, that's what I've always said. I think it's actually like Zebs or something. Sorry. It was there that I foiled the plans of the space pirate leader Mother Brain to use the creature to attack galactic civilization. Remember when this happened? You probably don't, because I don't have a Metroid 1 playthrough. <laughs> I next fought the Metroids on their homeworld, SR388. I completely eradicated them except for a lava, which after patching followed me like a confused child. Remember when this happened? You should do, if you watched my AM2R playthrough. God, how good was AM2R? I loved that so much. I personally delivered it to the Galactic Reservoir. Where was I going with that word? Reservation, I think I was going to say. <laughs> Research station at... Ser is it Sarah's? I guess it's Sarah's. That's what I'm saying. So scientists could study it energy producing qualities. I like to think Samus has these uh, deep thoughts. Uh, you know, these... these. Is that how you say it? Um, I don't know. Mm. <clears throat> I don't know. The scientists' findings were astounding. They discovered that the powers of the Metroid might be harnessed for the good of civilization. Lions. Satisfied that all was well, I left the station to seek a new bounty to hunt. But I had hardly gone beyond the asteroid belt when I picked up a distress signal. Sarah's station was under attack. Space colony. You know what's weird? This channel uh, is obviously like, you know, it's still really fresh. It's still really new. Um, I had some Just Jit stuff on the old channel that I transferred over to this new channel. And um, the last time I checked, not that it was like hugely successful. We're talking like 80 views. But like AM2R was like the most viewed stuff on this channel is kind of funny because like I've gone um, my whole life and many playthroughs of this game and so on uh, like with them just never really doing well this is one of those games that I play for me um, and if I do somehow get people show up that like Metroid well I I'd be just surprised <laughs> You can just hold the button. I didn't actually really think about that, but you know, I don't, I don't have the uh, charge shot yet. I've never actually. I know you can. I've never actually. Um, I don't think I've ever like beat Ridley here. I know you, you can just get him like so damaged that he just, he just leaves. But I've, I've never actually managed to. I've, I've always that. What would you, what just happened there? I think it's it's kind of one of those. Like, I think it's like a, it's a it's an accomplishment if you want to do it, but I don't think it matters if you don't do it. 
bragging rights. I was having a hard time figuring out if I wanted to record this or stream this, but everything I do these days I stream, so it's like, well, I'll just continue with that rep. Um, I feel like it's harder for me to put aside um, recording time. As I said before, I kind of... I'd be surprised... Oh, what is going on here? I'd be surprised if um, this did well, <laughs> to be honest. But as I... Oh my god, I need to just let go of the run button. Um, as I said, I kind of do this more for me anyway, so, you know. Just have some fun. Treat it like a recording. If I get a chat, I get a chat. Goodbye, Sarah Station. It was a good... Well, we're six minutes into the video. I don't remember what, what point in those six minutes. <laughs> I discovered that you existed through text. I don't remember what visual setting I have uh, the Nintendo Switch SNES set to. I think Pixel Perfect, I think. I'm just grateful that they don't have the um, the the smoothing option that was in the Wii U Virtual Console because I remember just constantly being like at, like internal <coughs> Jeez, why is my voice dying already? Uh, internal war with myself on like do I want to um, use it or not? Because it does kind of make the game look better if you don't like like jagged edges but obviously it makes it all look a bit blurry because all it's really doing is like blending pixels together. It just kind of blurs. It literally just puts like a like a filter over pretty much. It, it, that's what it looks like. Don't really know why I'm firing right now. Yeah, this isn't a particularly long game, but it was the next game on my um, my retro game list. I'm going to just call it that going forward because I feel like I'm going to be in some of the older years for a long time. I think the actual next, like, I would definitely love to play that on there. Uh, if I just quickly consult it to confirm that. I'm pretty sure it's Breath of Fire. Yeah. Yeah, it is. That might be <clears throat> a pretty long while in between um this playthrough and then because um i don't really feel like playing uh pokemon and breath of fire at the same time is a good idea because you know they're both turn-based rpgs and i could just i could just see that style of game getting a little dull um but like Breath of Fire is weird because I remember playing through it and the problem with like a lot of those kind of old RPGs is I find there's um, not always a good sense of direction and uh, you, um, you can get lost quite easily in them. So I'll probably... Wait, what is going on? I... Is the Switch Pro Controller just not good for this? D-pad's feeling a little janky right now. I don't know why. Um. But, um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, so, <clears throat> so, like, for Breath of Fire, I'll probably, I'll probably have a little guide on the side. Um, I find it just, like, I know some people don't really like that. Like, constantly just being like, oh, I'm just gonna quickly check what I need to do next. But, like, I feel like, um, I mean, I might not. I might just try playing it and seeing how I do, and then if I get a little bit stuck, then I might rely more on one. I don't know why I'm talking about that now, whilst playing Super Metroid. I guess just, you know, for when I get to it. But I just remember, um, it kind of made the experience better. It didn't really ruin anything, it just it just made it a bit better. Because, um, I, I didn't grow up with these games, so I didn't really know them that well. I mean, I grew up with Super Metroid. 
this this game has been in my family for as long as I know. But then if it came out in 1994, like July of 94 in the UK is the release date I had down for this, then that would explain why I've always known this game, because I was born January 94. So, like, this game is pretty much as old as me. Uh, and I know Metroid was quite big in my family. Um, Metroid 1 was really popular in my family. And then Super Metroid came out and like it just it just changed everything. Like everyone everyone in my family just loves this game. Well, at least as far as I know. They might not. Why why can't I wall jump? Why am I like the controls feel really off? It feels like there's like a weird delay. I don't I don't like that. I used to be able to wall jump and everything in this game, but I'm like playing this like these controls feel awful for some reason. Yeah, it just Okay, there we go. I'm, I'm trying to like <laughs> Trying to just make sense of why I'm struggling with the controls a little bit, because the Switch Pro controller is generally a, a really nice controller. I've I've never really had issues with it. Uh, the D-pad's a little funky. It I don't really know how to explain it. There's just something that's always felt a little bit off about it, but like never to the point of like oh I I can't make this jump. I don't really feel like I've played a lot of um, NES or Super Nintendo games on the Switch, to be fair. But I thought this would be a fun way to actually uh, get some use out of my Switch Online service. I know this controller is not too bad, because I managed to do all the six Mega Man games with it, alright. Those were all done on the Switch. This, for anyone who's wondering, this won't be like 100% or anything. Uh, I'll probably have as much fun trying to collect stuff as I can. Um, but I, th there's like secrets in this game. I, I don't know the location of it all. I couldn't even like begin to pretend to tell you where everything is. I don't know. So, uh, I'll just kind of... <clears throat> Roll with that as best as I can. Oh, don't you? No, 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 I can't go through there yet. That's right. <laughs> My bad. I guess I might as well save. Why not? Maybe there's a reason I only got like 15 minutes of playtime on the last time I tried to play this. Maybe it's just the controls just felt too janky. I don't know. I mean, I could always, I guess realistically, if you're only using the D-pad, I guess I could always, I could always try to use the Joy-Cons if the Pro Controller ends up being too much of a problem, because the D-pad and the Joy-Cons are alright. It's the drift on the sticks that sucks. Actually, the D-pad on the Joy-Cons kind of weird. I wouldn't say it's good. <laughs> But they're just four individual buttons. It's no different than the other face buttons. Which, you know, fits into the design of <laughs> the Joy-Cons. There's a reason that they're like that. But, I don't know. I just... I'm not normally one to be like, oh, the controls feel really off. But, like, I know this game controls great. I've played it so many times. And this is the first time I've played it and been like, this doesn't feel right. That's all right. I'll get over it. Oh no! Let me tell you, many a pant was shit the first time I saw this. And they fucking knew. They fucking knew. My family members. I was playing this for like the first time. They knew this was gonna happen, obviously. No, it's hilarious. Wait, am I trying to fight this with the regular beam? Something's definitely not like right. I, I don't feel like I ever like take damage from this guy. 
was that a get the I mean to be fair the timing is a little odd on them because you like you bounce off the wall after your the sprite changes to her uh, like pointing off of that which is quite weird I guess the, the wall jumps were always a little odd in this that's why space jump was so good <clears throat> it'll be fine can't taint Super Metroid for me. That would be an accomplishment. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. If there is a, a living soul watching this playthrough now in the future ever, let me tell you the amount of times in my life I have recommended this game to people. I have, I have, I have never heard another word said about it after recommending it. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you you got the Switch Online subscription, right? Yeah, yeah, I got that. Oh yeah, uh, you wanna you wanna you wanna do something that would really mean a lot to me? Yeah, that would be really nice. You know, I'd I'd love to make you happy. Yeah, could you like try Super Metroid? Just just give it a go. You have the Switch Online service, you say. So if you just download the 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 Super Nintendo Classics on demand, just give it a go. And let me know what you think. Even if you think it's bad, just you know, I'd love to hear what you think never comes up in conversation ever again <laughs> every time i will never stop trying because i'd like to think that eventually i'm going to suggest it to someone and i'm actually going to hear oh it was really good it just hasn't happened yet <laughs> i'm only 29 you know maybe in like the old folks home <laughs> i'll be like Give it a try. And they'll be like, uh, I got nothing better to do. I'm probably dying soon anyway. And then that's when they'll actually do it, you know? I keep forgetting about the L and R functions. I never used to use those when I played this game. I don't really know how I used to do some of the stuff in this game without it, but... I never used to. On the back when like the newest console was um probably like the N64 slash GameCube, something like that. I just I didn't like even touching the L and R buttons on the Super Nintendo controller, I remember as like as a youngin. I remember I, I just wouldn't go near them. I was like, no, they don't have a use and they never will. <laughs> just just one of those things, you know. Might as well go in here and, you know, get a thumbnail or something. <clears throat> Probably not. I think I see any problem with certain games like this is, uh... I almost prefer... When I keep these playthroughs to, like... <clears throat> kind of like Wario Land was. Just, like... A couple streams uh, where they're just like three hour videos just because like well then it's not shitting up people's feed if they're not interested in it it's only a couple videos they have to ignore <clears throat> and then it's gone but also like I don't have to <laughs> I don't have to try and make a thumbnail out of a game that like well like this for example it looks nice I've always thought the pixel art in Super Metroid was quite pleasant um, but like, you try finding like a screenshotable, like, this is a nice thumbnail, it can be kind of hard, to be honest. I don't even, like, one of the number one things I always like see on like YouTube, like advice stuff, is like, make a thumbnail that really stands out, make a thumbnail that clicks. And I'm like, how the fuck do I do that? I don't have any like art skills. I have no no like visual editing skills at all. Just the most basic of skills when it comes to that stuff. So it's like just try to find something interesting. Catch a screen grab of that. Frame it as best as you can. And just hope that will be enough. And that's the problem with some games, is like, they, they, they just don't provide you with like anything that you can screenshot. Plenty of nice stuff, just, you know, if you, there's like pressure when you're, when you're doing a uh, thumbnail to be like, 
Uh, what's what's like really eye catching? What would make people go, hmm? I want to click on this, and it's like I don't I don't know. I have no idea. I'm not gonna try and see Quint's break. <laughs> I thought about it for a second. I was like, wait, I don't even think I know how. And I'm not sure I care to find out. I'm not gonna do it. I'll refrain. This is a regular playthrough of a game that has been played through on YouTube probably more times than you could count. This is my take on it, which is probably, <laughs> I don't know. It's different, but <laughs> somehow. Here's another when I was young story for you. I knew that it was these things that lit up the room and I'd kill them all anyway, every single time. And then I would either die or damn near die on the way back up and be confused every time. I just be like, well, how are you supposed to get back? OBS studio disconnected. Oh, that's cool. I lost my stream. I'm sure that's fine. Reconnection succeeded. Why is that noise so loud? Well, that one needed to die. Why did it make a monkey noise? Make sure that. Oh, sorry. I accidentally um, muted for a minute there. I'm gonna make sure. Yeah, okay. My, my stream is still live. Okay. Just had to make real quick make sure of that. I just had to make real quick make sure. That's a, that's a statement I just made. Um, because I think that's one of the things that can cause, uh, everything to just kind of corrupt. So I'm so used to, um, I think I spoke about this in my Pokemon Violet stream. Obviously, I don't, I don't know what the crossover of those two audiences, if there was any, uh, would be. So I'll describe it in this too. I recently tried playing Mega Man X again, a game that I'm, I'm just not very fond of, uh, because I really wanted to give it a fair go. And now I'm like really used to like, you go like a millimeter off screen from where you just killed an enemy and it's going to be back the moment you go there again. I fucking hate that. I think that was the thing that like put me off of um, Mega Man X. Like I could forgive it on, um, I'm going to at least try to get this because, because fuck it, why not? There you go. It's not really, I mean, I guess it kind of is in a way sequence breaking because it's not how you're supposed to get to it, but it's also not the biggest offense I could do, I guess. Isn't there anything else over here? Oh, right. I, saying, I kind of felt like there was more. I don't think it's items or anything. I think it's just a way out. Um, yeah, that was definitely one of the, like, I could forgive it for the NES Mega Man games because, like, limitations and stuff just like not having things respawn or whatever. I'm sure there's like some kind of technical issues I could make up that probably wasn't it. But the moment I played a Super Nintendo game where you can absolutely like leave an area, come back and like n all the enemies are gone because you've already killed them before. Um, and yet if I go a tiny bit off screen because I'm being hit by that enemy and I've just managed to kill it, a new one will spawn right there again something here isn't there can't do that either okay. well I have to charge beam now so that's good right you know for some reason I forgot that morph balling whilst having a charge beam um, does that I probably won't play this for too long per setting, because uh, trying to get through Pokemon Violet as best as I can, um, it's a really big game. You, you may have heard of it. <laughs> it's, it's such a big game, especially when like I can't stop exploring and I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get like every last drop out of it pretty much. Um, sorry if my eyes are really itchy. Uh, yeah, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a very big game. So. Um, 
I want to save as much time for that as I can because I'm trying to make good progress in it. But I can feel uh, the tired coming on a little bit because um, I've been awake for about 10 hours and that's too long for me. I don't really know why. Uh, I'm just always tired at the moment. I don't really feel like dealing with these enemies. I do like the... That's like that, that um, that, like, cut off mid-scream meme. Ah! I always thought those were fish. I think those must be like sacks, like, like eggs or something. <laughs> kind of look like fish, to be fair. I kind of, I kind of still see it. Fun. This is fun. Why do you have to do it all the way up there? actually have like eye spray specifically for itchy eyes and it's all the way on the other side of the room <laughs> and that's my story gone one more time now it's a little more than one more time to be honest i don't know why i said that Atmosphere for this one boss fight is set to be so like, oh my god, something huge is coming. <laughs> this is it. And this isn't even really a boss, though, is it? Let's be honest. It's like a mini boss. I don't actually know if charge shots would be more or less effective. I've always just used missiles for this, but I don't actually know if that's the best option. Hmm. Oh shit. I forgot which button was jump for a second. <laughs> Don't ask how. At this point in time, I forgot that jump was, was A. I think it's because I forgot where A was. shouldn't do that. I just realized those can launch you in the air. That would be bad. Last shot? Nope. Still one more. Jeez. This takes so long. I do think charge shots are quicker. Little more awkward to set up, but I do think they would have done this quicker. Yeah, there we go. That's okay. It's dead now. I'm pretty sure that has a name. I don't remember what it is, though. Why didn't this Metroid boss ever come back? <laughs> Truly one of the bosses of all time. I keep calling it a boss, even though I just said it's not a boss. I don't want to go down. Okay. Excellent. This changes everything. <clears throat> Whoop. Uh -oh. <sighs> yeah, I feel like I need, I think there's like two control types and I think the one that I currently have is the one I don't usually use, where you press A to jump and X to shoot. And for the reference, uh, in case you're like not super familiar with the the Nintendo layout of controls for whatever reason, um, A is the button on the right and X is the button on the top. It does feel a little strange. It does feel a little a little bit off. Ah, 
that's fine. I'll just keep going. I think there's like something else I can go and do now, but it's all right. We're, we're following the rules. We're playing linear. It's okay. Right? Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, the D- I realized what it is. It's the D-pad randomly picks up me pressing up. If I press left at like the wrong angle almost. I don't know how else to word it. Like if I just press uh left a little bit out of its realm of I'm okay with that being left. It just immediately like un-everythings and presses up. Basically, the dead zones are shit. That's what I'm saying. No. Hmm. Nah. <laughs> I'll deal with them all another day. That day will never come. Even if I do go back. I will evade them. Okay, now... Now I'm doing stuff I'm not supposed to be and I don't really know why. I don't think you can get up here. I think I tried this once. Oh no, I think you can. I think you have to angle it like really well. And obviously not get hit. Um, not worth it. But you can just play the damn game. I was hoping to bomb it in midair. That's okay. I think there's a recovery thing in here, right? Yeah. Not that I really lost much health anyway. But it's still nice. Does the Super Nintendo have the rewind function? It does. It's a nice function. Definitely prefer that to save states. It feels less intrusive. Like on the Super Nintendo uh, Switch Online, it's kind of mid. Because you have to like... Can I do this yet? I don't think so. No, I can. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> so... Oh, actually, no, I think that I think this was something that I could have done anyway. Like, I don't think I skipped anything by going here. I was about to be like, I don't know why I'm so persistent on trying to do things I don't need to do yet. But actually, I think this was was fine. Yeah, that's it's literally perfectly fine. I think you're technically supposed to get that when you have the high jump. But, you know, it's, it's not a big problem. It's really not. Not that that big of a game changer. I don't think uh, is it Spacer is how you say that. I don't think it's really even that great of a beam, is it? I don't know. Does it change much? Can't honestly say I know. Oh, this is where you get the high jump anyway. Like, it's not even that far away from here. I love the music in this place. I love the music in this game, actually, to be honest. Oh no, this isn't the one. This one's kind of meh. It suits the environment. But, like, as a standalone song. Yeah, I don't think I'd put this on. I don't think I'd put this in my mix, you know? Cool. I don't know why I even tried. Knew it wasn't gonna work. Did it anyway. I think it's just the Metroidvania problem of mine. I see map, I want to fill in map, even if I know <clears throat> there's like nothing beyond that point and it was a wasted effort to try and go. Like that, I kind of, I knew a door to the right would take me to that. But you know what? Now I have a square on the map. I don't even think there's a map completion reward in a, any Metroid game. I don't know if those count towards the final percentage, actually. 
Maybe they do. Couldn't honestly say. What do you think, chat? <laughs> make me laugh. Okay. Give me the high jump boost. What? What's going on here? Oh, you have to do that kind of jump, don't you? All right. So I wasn't far away from getting them. And then I would have got Spazer anyway. It's not, it's not a big deal. It doesn't matter. You can't shoot through every wall then. Shame. Actually, I might need that. They don't give you those very often. Okay. Oh no. I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else to really do here. I'll have a little look around anyway. Because I can't entirely remember. But I think... I mean, there's a save. I haven't done that in a while. <clears throat> this isn't exactly where I'd want to make a comeback. If I started playing it again when I was here. I don't think I'd be confused. I think I know this game enough. But I could see this being confusing. If you, like, stop playing at this exact moment and came back another day i and like it was your first time playing i don't, I don't know that you'd know where to go because as soon as you started heading back you'd be like that's wrong why am i heading back because you need to it filled my heart with joy to see metroid dread be so celebrated but again, just like um, what I've said before, I don't know a living soul that played it. Barring Blueberry who gifted it to me. I don't know anyone that actually played Metroid Dread. I mean, admittedly, I don't know many people anyway. So that doesn't help. But... Like, I've never seen anyone buy it, you know? I've, I've never seen anyone, like, really talk about Metroid anywhere. Other than, like, you know, some big uh, streamers. Um, like, like uh, Vine Sauce, Vinny, and Joel. I, I don't know anyone that really played it, <laughs> like, at all. It's so strange. I've never understood why Metroid gets so slept on. Well, I guess it doesn't. I guess it's got a fan base, I just can't find them. Oh, 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 oh. I remember there was a, I think it was a Discord server or a chat somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. Someone mentioned something to do with Metroid and I went, no way. A Metroid fan, they do exist. And they were like, oh, there's many of us. And I was like, well, I mean, I know. <laughs> I don't think Nintendo made this. Uh, and then we're just like, we're, I'm sure no one will enjoy this. We'll keep making more. But I was like, I, I've never seen one. I, why, why was that my instinct? Right, here we go. I didn't save before doing this, so... Let's hope I don't die. God, I always forget how short into the game you fight Kraid. I thought my phone started vibrating. It was the it was the music playing in my right ear. Because it went like stereo. 
<laughs> it, 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 it felt so strange to me that I was like, why is my phone vibrating? It's on silent. Oh shit. Really blew that. <laughs> what an amazing fight. Thank you, Craig. He really gave it his all. You could really, you could really feel the energy coming out of him. He tried his best, it just wasn't enough. You know how it is. Yeah, I wanted, to, I didn't want to spoil it in case anyone's watching this for the first time or whatever. But I didn't. What I was gonna say wasn't. I didn't realize how short of the game into you, into it you fight. Credit. I was gonna say how short you have the. Um, is, does the normal suit even have a name? No. I think it's just the, the power suit, I think. How short into the game before you get the various suit is what I was going to say. I used to call this the Varias suit when I was young. <laughs> Horrible sounding word. Varia. Baby Crid. He was a really good warm up before the boss. You gotta give him credit. I don't know why I didn't save before this. I mean, it's fine. I won. It was actually weirdly easy. <clears throat> okay. Nice. Yeah, I don't think this will be a particularly long playthrough, to be honest. I don't think this game's that long, especially if you, like, generally know what you're doing. I, I wouldn't call myself, like, a speedrunner or, like, a pro or anything like that. But, you know, I, like, I know the game fairly well. This will be, like, if I had to guess, this will probably be, like, my... If I was to be, like, completely honest and really think about it. Maybe, like, my eighth playthrough of this? Maybe even, like, a little less than that. I don't replay this one too often, to be honest. I, I enjoy it a lot. But, um... I don't know. Don't know how to explain it. I think, unlike uh, some, like, Zelda games and stuff, I kind of get my fill with this. Like, I play and I'm like, I'm happy with that. I think the last time I played this before this playthrough will have been... Let me really think about this. Um, it would have been a different playthrough. For sure. I think I go back. Yeah, yeah, I just go down here. Yeah, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure it would have just been another playthrough for like a different channel. Um, maybe, I don't think during the entirety of my time with Saria I ever played this game. I don't think. Oh no, I played it once. It's probably about, probably about five or six years ago. And I think that was actually, uh, a contrary to what I'd even just said. I think that was, um, I played it to myself. That wasn't recorded, actually. <clears throat> yeah, I think that probably would have been the last time. But yeah, it's probably been about five or six years, which might actually be one of the reasons the controls... No, 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 we've already covered this. It, it is definitely something to do with the D-pad dead zones, because uh, randomly getting an up push when you're pressing left is not a game problem ever. Well, unless the game is like really bad, I think that I've I've seen people play like plug and plays that would probably be bad enough. But again, that might just be a really badly designed controller. To be fair, <clears throat> you know, I had a plug and play when I was younger, and I, I really don't remember anything about it. I thought there was a missile con uh, containment down here. Oh, cool. No, that's, that's fine. I'm I'm just killing myself for it. Disappear. It's all right. they don't all show on the map. 
I wasn't sure. Couldn't remember if you got like dots on the map for every single one of them or just like the ones that they wanted you to know about. And it's the latter, unfortunately. I think that changes in like fusion. It's really weird to think that fusion is the very next entry after this game in the Metroid franchise. That was like 2001, I think, or two. I think it's 2001. Just an absolutely huge gap. I remember waiting and, w oh no, did Prime come out before Fusion? I think Prime was 2002. I think that was pretty close to the GameCube's launch that Prime came out. Whereas Fusion, I have in my head it was 2003, not one. Fucking D-pad, man. I'll be like in the middle of doing a spinning jump and then like it'll just it'll just pick up a random button push. Like that. I I didn't I didn't press down at all. And now I am ball. I mean it's fine. I think I needed to be a ball. But <laughs> um I didn't ask to be a ball. Controller just kind of decided that I was gonna be one. What am I doing? I know that's not the way. Yeah, I guess it has been quite a while since I last played this, to be fair. I think I remember seeing that, like, there's a randomizer for this game. I don't really know what that would do. I guess it'd just be the items you collect, right? God, that could be tough. I know a lot of them, you know, you can also get like like room randomizers and stuff too. Where you you go through one door and you, you come out somewhere that you normally wouldn't. And those can be wacky. I think this is just the other side of that tunnel that I was on. I mean, yeah, it fills it in. Yeah, yeah, it fills it in. <laughs> it's it's not really necessary, but I mean it, it, you know. It'll probably come in handy to know that at some point. No, I don't have that. the wave beam you need to go through walls. Why do I keep thinking I have that already? I want it. I want the wave beam. I don't have the wave beam. Yeah, the more I think about it, this game really just isn't that long. I guess it kind of helps, like, I don't normally, um, record things in, like, a windowed mode. So I'm not really, like, seeing the time that's gone by when I'm playing stuff. I guess it kind of weirdly helps to know that, like, it, it you know, it's been, like, 48 minutes. And I feel like I'm already at a point that normally, to me, feels like I've been playing the game for ages. Probably aim to play this for about an hour and a half to two. Obviously, I'll I'll leave off in a spot where I feel comfortable to go. I know what I'm doing when I come back next time. It's always like really crucial with games like this. You don't want to just stop randomly and then have no idea where you're going. <clears throat> I think the thing that was so impressive about me randomly turning into a ball earlier is I didn't even go into like the crouch form. Like it double pressed down by itself. Oh shit. <laughs> Big brain moment. Yeah, it's going to be a long time before uh, I play another Metroid game after this. I'm not really... I know I played AM2R to fill in for Metroid 2. I'm not really looking to do the original Metroid 2, like, ever. 
I think I played that. Uh, I played that on something. Like, I think I played it on like my 3DS or something. Like not that long ago. And I beat it. And I was just like, eh. That, that didn't really feel that fun. I think the problem with the, the game, the Game Boy, like the original game, not AM2R, is um, it suffers from like what a lot of the Game Boy platformers did, which is that like you're just way too zoomed in. You can't really see a lot of your environment. Your character takes up like loads of the screen. Something the Mega Man Game Boy games definitely suffer from. And I remember um, Super Mario Brothers Deluxe on the Game Boy Color. Which was basically, for anyone who doesn't know, that that's just a port of the very first Mario Brothers game on the NES. There we go. There's Wave Beam. Much better. Uh, yeah, that's just a port of um, the very first Mario game on the NES. Uh, which is, it, like, it functionally, it, it works just fine. It's just a matter of like the 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 game is just way too zoomed in, and it you can get used to it, and it can still be all right. But you don't really realize when you're playing like like Mario One how weird it is to not be able to see like the sky fully, especially because they added um, red coins in Mario Brothers Deluxe. Uh, and obviously that means you have to, like, explore the levels a little more rather than just play through them normally. And, um, some of them are literally just, like, I guess it factors in the fact, it, it like, makes it more of, like, an attraction that it's so zoomed in because you, you have to, like, go up to see above you as opposed to just being able to like you would on the original NES. The original NES. <laughs> I said it like that. Is there something over here? For some reason I felt like there was. I don't know why. Maybe I'm thinking of a room similar. Okay, this room. This is a cool room. See, because you get to just ignore everything. And that's a cool room. It's really cool when you don't have to deal with any of your problems. You just run away from them all. I forgot how fast you get all these items. It's honestly kind of strange. <clears throat> and just like that, I can shine spark. Am I any good at doing that? No. Do I want to do it much? No. Oh shit. Maybe I can just like... No, no, no. no I, I don't have the skills to do that. Uh, I think I, I have done that before. It's okay. It's alright. I, I think it's just like another missile upgrade. It might be an energy tank. I don't know. I'd much rather an energy tank, but I can live without whatever it is. It's okay. It's no stress. So, there was a place down here. That, oh wow. There was a place down here that like... I am um, out with it, boy. Uh, couldn't get to because I needed the wave beam, and I have the wave beam now, so I guess I could give that a go. I feel like I'm pretty close to fighting Crocodile. Whoop! Whoop! I feel like I normally have the ice beam before the wave beam. I don't know why. This feels kind of strange. Seeing the purple beam feels a little odd to me. No, it wasn't here. Oh, no, 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 no. That's right. It was here, wasn't it? Yeah, because now I can do that. 
Wave beam go through wall. Oh. Is there a... Is there like a little guy I can ride, or is it just... It doesn't look like it, okay. Never mind. I wasn't fully sure if that was something I could do or not. Um, I mean, that's all just gonna like curve back around and take me back to where I came from. So that's that's cool. It's fine. Not like a big deal or anything. <clears throat> mm. I guess Crocomire comes a little bit later. I think he's a little further down the way I was just going. Or is he? No, I think he's more to the left. I think he's this way. Right. I think there's like a doorway down here as well that I needed to shoot through walls for. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's just over here. I think I'm like really close to fighting him actually. I don't know if I should. What's this room? I don't remember. Okay, that's good. Definitely wanted that. Don't really know where I'm headed to right now. Oh, does this connect to... Yep. Okay. <laughs> Uh, it's just a. Why was that a hidden passageway then? If it just took me to somewhere I'd like already been. That's weird. There he is. That's the doorway to Crocomire right there. Because you drop into the fight. I remember that. Okay. What, what does going up here take me to? I don't know. I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going up before I go down. Because that's what I was hoping for. I, I I feel like I've died to Krokomai before. I'm not really sure how, thinking on it, because he's, like, stupidly easy. But I have in my head that I've died to this guy before. Okay, I think I need to go down that way first. I think going up is only gonna further uh, drive me away from where I am already. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh, no. Oh, no. Nice arm, dude. Have I ever died to this guy? Or was I laugh? No, you know what it was? You know what it was? I think I watched Game Grumps play Super Metroid. And I think they kept dying to him. I think that's what I was thinking of. I don't think that was me. I think that was a playthrough I watched. I think they got like loads of comments where people were like, how the fuck did you die to Crocomire? <laughs> right, okay. Yes, this is making more sense now. <clears throat> It is quite gruesome to watch, to be fair. Like you can see the spirit of him going through the lava. Oh no. Did I have to get closer? I can't remember. No. Oh, I thought this for some reason I thought the spiked walls he threw something like hurt you. How did he manage? God, he must have been so pissed off about dying. Wait, 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 wait. Can I? Probably, right? What the fuck? No. That's obviously not what I meant. Why is it doing that? I obviously mean to go right. I think I was just misunderstanding how that functioned. <laughs> I think I'm thinking of uh, some of the more optimized games. 
And now just to hope I don't die. Is there an item here? Why is it? Wait, 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 wait. Why is it? Why is it showing that there's a dot? Huh? <clears throat> I don't even know what you get for beating Krokomai. Do you get anything? Or is it just, well done, you beat him. Who cares? You beat him. It's really not that big of a deal. Okay, well, I guess I'm, I'm going up there first. It's probably more. Oh! Come on, fucking D-pad, man. Right, that one was me. No, that's fine, I can do this, I can do this, shut up. Just wait, I can do this. See? I don't even think that one was necessarily like off limits, I think it's just a bit of an awkward jump to do now. But it was worth it. Oh, it was worth it. I don't know if there's anything else in there. I think that might have been. It's okay. Boy, I am I'm really just off the map right now. What is further down? Oops. Okay. Oh, I don't really know where I'm going. Anymore. I feel like everything after Crocomire is a bit of a, a blur to me for some reason. I just miss him so much, you know. Okay. Just a miss him like great, sure. That's fine. Anything over here? No. The temptation to use a uh, power bomb to. Oop. Yeah, the temptation to use a power bomb to try and reveal like anything that was hidden over there is it gets strong, but I don't know if that works in this game. I don't know if the, the power bomb reveals secrets. I think it does. But something in me is like, no, that's a different Metroid game. Oh, I think I actually need to use it here, don't I? Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, then, then, then that creates enough space that I can like, no? Oh, come on. But wait, there's more. Map, that is. Was there a reason for me to do this? No. Okay. Well, I had a look. <laughs> hmm. I had a look indeed. It's okay, I can just do it again. That's not actually a very hard jump to make, you know? <laughs> Oh, there's the grappling hook. For some reason, I thought the oh, grappling beam, sorry. For some reason, I thought the grappling beam was in, like, um, the, like, sunken ship part. <laughs> Spoilers everywhere. Hmm. I don't like the grappling beam very much, I will be honest. It kind of pisses me off. I just, I just don't like its controls. Particularly. Particularly much, that is. Uh, hard to explain why I don't really like it. 
um, it just kind of, it just kind of blows in my opinion. I, I don't really know how else to explain it. I feel like it would genuinely be easier for me to shine Spark up to where I'm trying to get to. Yeah. Oh, cool. That's, that's awesome. Thank you. Oh, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'll try it one more time. Okay, that's the same. That's the same level of wrong. All right, you know what? I don't want to die. Holy shit, I forgot how much damage you take from lava. Um, yeah, I don't want to die. So I'm going to just let it go. And hope that I just don't ever get hit by anything again. Oh, what a great noise. There's an energy tank fairly close by somewhere in this area. Nope, thinking of somewhere else again! Oh! Oh, that hit me. Well, better get naked. You know the rules. Okay. I don't think I lose too much progress, thankfully. I don't think there's that much for me to redo. So that's good. Like how many attempts that took me earlier? <laughs> that was just one. That's cool. That was my chair. <laughs> that was not. <laughs> oh, why? I just realized for some reason, like all the creaking from my chair just sounded like the fucking most rancid ass noises you could imagine. I was, no, that's my chair. I swear to God. It makes a lot of noise. It's very creaky. I've had it for quite a few years, though. I think it, I think I'm kind of do a new one eventually. But chairs can be weirdly expensive, especially for like a decent one. Computer chairs, that is. You know, you can get those like shitty office ones that like they only really support like the very low part of your back, but like. The, like, gamer chairs, as they call them. I fucking hate that that's what they're called. I don't know why. The, the word gamer is just synonymous with, like, cringe culture. Um. Oh, my God. All right. I'm going to just heal for a sec before I die. Nope. They're not even going to regenerate for me. That's awesome. I don't remember the lava doing this much damage. It definitely did. I don't think they, like, weirdly made the Switch Online version lava do more damage when everything else has been just as, like, difficult slash easy as I remember it being. <laughs> I'm not... I'm not implying that by any means. Oh, for God, for a minute I thought, um... I thought I had to do Crocomire again. I was like, please no. It wasn't hard. It's actually just kind of boring. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. I'm just going to leave the map like that. <clears throat> Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to try and... I'm going to try and grapple beam over again. I don't know why. I don't even really care. It's just one missile tank upgrade. I'm going to miss so many of these. But this one... It's like I've got something to prove to myself. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. I think I did it. There was one more. Okay, I think I found like what it was that I was doing wrong. What I was doing wrong, I'm just gonna fill in this map because it's gonna bug the shit out of me if I don't. I'm gonna like come back here eventually being like, whoa, whoa, what was that then? Wh what did I not do down there? And it's gonna be like absolutely nothing. Is there a reason for this? No. Uh 
here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go back up there and I'm gonna give that another shot. Oh. Why did I set that off there? That's such a waste. Now I'm gonna have to set off another one. Unless that's enough running space. Nope. Yeah, because these things are really hard to get more of. No, no, don't, don't, don't try to shine spark it. You can't shine spark. <laughs> you don't possess that skill very well. Like, you can, in the sense of, like, it's built into the game and you can do it. Okay. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna let that missile tank go for the rest of my life. Alright. Until I get, like space jump. <laughs> I'm gonna let that one go. For real. I really don't want to die again. It's not like I had loads of progress to redo, but who actually enjoys redoing a segment in any game at all after you just did it? Like, obviously, redoing them in general is fine. That's why we replay games. But... <laughs> Like, immediately after you just did it. The whole, you died so you have to do it again penalty. Fucking sucks. Worst thing about all games. By far. I get it, it's a punishment for dying. You know, when people say like, oh, new, new games, they're not like they used to be. Back in my day, if you died, you had to do the whole level again. That was your punishment for dying, and it meant that you had to get good. You know, I i mean, I get it. But I think they can just be a little bit more forgiving, you know. I think Shovel Knight did them really well, if I remember right. Shovel Knight did everything, but I really like Shovel Knight. I'm not seriously gonna die to a bunch of worms, am I? No. That would have been really upsetting. <clears throat> okay, I think that was everything that was down there. That's in my my skill issue level of getting. You put Metroid in the title of a stream and it fucking tanks. That is like a guaranteed fact. I put Pokemon in the name of my streams and like, okay, if you look at the Pokemon streams, I'm always just talking to Bryce, like no one else is here. Um, but when I'm done, or even when I'm like an hour in, um, YouTube will tell me. I, I try not to really let it weigh on me. It's kind of like, um, I'm sure you've probably heard of this before, if anyone's listening to this at any point in the future. Um, uh, I'm sure you've probably heard of this, but like some YouTubers talk about it from time to time. I, I feel like there's an item here. Is there, is there really nothing here? Why is there a dot on the map? Unless I got the item. <laughs> I probably got the item thinking on it. Um, where am I going? I do want to fill in that gap over here because I really, I really hate when the map is like all segmented. There might actually be like a reason for me to go down there now, to be fair. Um, but yeah, like YouTube does this thing where uh, your 10 most recent like top performing videos get like put up against each other. And you can't say, no YouTube, I don't want to see this. And it really fucks with some YouTubers, like, mental state. Because it's like, you know, you want your videos to do well, and you upload a video, and it's like, in the first week, your video was the 10th ranked amongst these 10 as, like, how successful it's been in the first week. And it's like, that's a horrible statistic to show someone. It's great because, obviously, if it's, like, the number one performing video on your channel, in that amount of time then you're being told like well done you've done good and technically it's useful um 
if it says you know the opposite it's ranked 10 or whatever because it's basically telling you like whatever you've done in this video don't do it again if you want like your videos to do well um like i know this will be like ranked 10 <laughs> for example but um they do it on the live stream feature as well sort of because um uh on the live stream feature on youtube it there's there's a there's an option um I'm gonna go back the way I came because there's actually nothing over here for me. Um, th there's not an option. There's like a thing that says like your concurrent viewers and your views. And concurrent is the people who are at your stream uh, right now. And views is just how many people clicked on your stream in general in the time that you've been live. And normally if I go over to like my, my browser and I have a look at the stream's like performance, it will say like, um, you know, I've had 40 views or whatever um, in the first like hour or two. Now it kind of sucks because obviously I'm only really talking to Bryce, so that's 40 people that clicked on it and then went, nope, fuck that, I'm out, and then didn't open it. Um, I've had one. They clicked on the video, even because the thing is, they love just busting your balls. They love letting you know what a failure you are. Um, I've had one view in the last, how long have I been live? Uh, hour and a half. And they literally had the video open for less than a minute. It says, because it even tells you when they fucking left. It tells you. It tells you when someone joined and it tells you when they left. And there is a spike at... 20 past midnight which was 20 minutes ago and then there was a spike right back down at the very next possible interval which means that they they just went nope nah not interested don't even know why i clicked on this it was a mistake honestly regret it and it's like i don't need that as i said before you know the thing is like i i try to remain as positive as i can i try to just be like, oh, you know, I'm just having fun, it's whatever. I would obviously prefer if I had a chat to talk to, but I respect that I'm playing Metroid and I kind of know it's not popular with my audience. I don't, I, there are fans, a lot of fans out there. I don't, I don't know where they are. I don't, I, you know, I, I, don't, I don't get it, but um, I've never been able to attract them for whatever reason. I think it's because a lot of Metroid's audience, um, from what I've seen in the past, uh, quite quite a heavily uh, speedrun influenced fan base uh, and I don't particularly care for speedruns to be honest um, not just like me doing them but just in general I don't I don't find them entertaining to watch I don't like watching people break games and stuff I don't, I don't really get anything out of it and like the the like traditional ones I'm just you know if I watch a youtuber it's because I, I just find the person entertaining um, and fun to listen to generally Um, and I just, I don't get that enjoyment out of them. That's not to say you're wrong. <clears throat> if you do like speedruns, I fucking hate the implication that, like, someone is beneath you because they like something you don't. That's so fucking immature. Um, but, uh, I think that's, that's a, that's always going to be a setback for me when I play Metroid is I'm, I'm not, I'm not doing any kind of special run. I'm not doing 100%. I'm not doing a speedrun. I'm just playing the game, and I think this is one of those games that's just, well, I think this is like a franchise, honestly, that's just riddled with, like, a speedrun community, and they do it well, they do it good, very respectable, I really can't stress enough, I'm not shit-talking anyone. Maybe myself, because that's funny. Skill issue. But yeah, obviously, I, I, you know, I can look at it and I can go, man, I just, you know, I, I must just not be a very entertaining guy. I can't really seem to get people to uh, tune into anything I do. Uh, and the only time my videos have ever been successful is uh, a form of media, uh, my wrestling based stuff that, um, that I think people just like wrestling a lot. I don't necessarily think that's like to my credit. Um, 
uh, you know, I, I can get myself down on it and stuff, but like ultimately I, I kind of just look at it as like, oh, I'm just having fun. I'd be playing this anyway. It was next on my list. <clears throat> Uh, I could live stream it, record it, or just play it to myself. All I know for a fact is if, at the moment, if I'm not recording something, whoops, uh, I tend not to really be playing it, so. I, you know, I, I, I want to play through of the games I know I enjoy, regardless of how well they do. So here we are. I'm doing a game that I know I enjoy, uh, regardless. I don't really imagine uh, because I've been talking about it at the start of this stream uh, in this video as a matter of fact uh, Breath of Fire it's probably going to do just as bad to be honest but I really like Breath of Fire I played it once I don't the problem is I don't really remember it that well now <laughs> but I'm positive I like it as I say I think I just I think I relied on a, sp uh, a speed run <laughs> what no Oh, wrong word. Um, I think I just relied a little bit on a walkthrough um, when I played through it because I think there's like a lot of vagueness. Not not just in like where you go, but like, you know, obviously getting like good shit to the little side things that you can find. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely glad I have this the ice beam now. I don't feel like I normally stay in North Air for this long. I feel like I've uh, gone a little extra here to what I'd normally do when I play this game. I'm not sure, but I feel like I've been in North Air almost too long. <laughs> I don't know how to explain that. I feel like I normally, uh, after getting the speed boost, I like go straight to... Um, Whoops. I feel like I normally go straight to uh, Brinstar again and start going up. Whereas this time I didn't. <laughs> I don't really know why. Like, I'm glad I didn't. A wave beam. Uh, uh, grapple beam. Um, just kind of everything beam. <laughs> I think I was supposed to get those things first too. I think normally I get a little muddled up. I think basically what, what I'm admitting to is I did it right this time. <laughs> I think now I'm supposed to leave North Air. I think I've kind of covered as much as I can. I'm gonna just, just because, just because I don't think it's gonna take that long. I'm gonna go back real quick, just just real quick. I swear it's gonna be so fast. That's gonna save a lot of time. There's one thing that when I looked at the map, it just itch bugged me instantly, and I'm gonna go get it. It's this room. Shit, I didn't mean to do that. Oh well. It's fine. Actually, it's not fine. That's gonna... Yeah, it's gonna require me to go all the way around the rest of the damn place. I think if I leave the room and come back in, the enemy respawns. <clears throat> I'll save here. Just to be on the safe side. <laughs> it's safe to be on the safe. <laughs> yeah, it does. It does respawn. I thought as much. Oh. For some reason I Oh yeah, you can. Yeah. Yeah, 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 There you go. That's what I wanted to do. Cuz now I can get this. Cuz that had been bugging me. I think it's this room. I think there's an extra secret in this room. You like shoot down here, I think? Yeah! Yeah! 
I'm surprised at myself. That was genuinely like, how the fuck did I remember that? Oh, and this is a good one too, it's a reserve tank. Nice. This is something. This is something that like, all the way, oh. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> it's something like all the way up to like, uh, 20 at least. I did not understand. <laughs> I had no idea what the reserve tank actually did. Even though it's in the name, couldn't comprehend, couldn't grasp what it was that it was doing. Oh, right. In case you're wondering. <laughs> in case you don't know. Well, it just lit up because basically um, it's an extra energy tank. Uh, and if you die, uh, it will like, it will like refill your, your health by like one energy tank. Um, but it grabs energy, it like charges up based on, uh, how much extra energy you got with full health. So it might not be a full reserve tank, depending on when you die, but it, it probably will be. Uh, but it, you know, it might, it might not. Why did I go this way back when I could have just done the speed boost room below me? Now this was a mistake. I'm not gonna kill these guys. I don't even care. <laughs> okay, that one went away. Um, I think you can check how much the reserve tank has here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got 30. There's four reserve tanks. Yeah, I never really noticed that. Also, oh, what do you mean mode? Manual? I need to manually heal myself? Oh. I, I never knew you could actually change that. Also, boy, I have like most of the items already. Not that there's that many. <coughs> it just kind of surprises me. The next big item I get is... Ooh, why am I my voice? Got that like bubble in the throat feeling. <laughs> Your voice goes all funny. Um, yeah, I think we're done. Okay, well, away I go. Uh -huh. Wasn't there more I could- No, 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 that place is like really, really like one thing. I can, I can shatter this. I don't think I should yet, but fuck it, why not? This is such a cool site. I like the way they did this bit. Give it a minute. There you go. I forgot you had to stand in the middle. I was like, why is it not changing? Because I wasn't moving. I'm not actually really supposed to be in this bit yet. I can't move in water very well. I mean, I guess you can. I just don't think it's very advised. At least I don't think I'm supposed to be in this part yet. No. No, no, no. No, definitely. Well, I mean, I say definitely not. You, you, as I say, you can. That's your choice to make. I don't think it would work very well, but there was a save down there. And I like saving. Like so you can jump up in one of these. I don't think it's very eventful. I actually think it's more of a place you can fall down from than a place you're supposed to jump up to. I love this music. This has got to be one of the best songs in the game. Both of the Brinstar songs are so good. Uh, oh wow, I forgot about this part too. Whoop. I should have grabbed that. <laughs> 
Oh, I'll have to live with that regret forever now. Okay, I, I don't want to. I don't want to kill any of you. I need the light. You die just on impact. That's not fair. <laughs> Cut me off mid swing. There we go. Right. Here's an item I will probably rarely ever use, but it's, it's nice to collect because it completes the row at the top. X-ray scope. That's what it does. If you were ever looking at this thing, game like, damn these secrets are ridiculous. How am I supposed to know what to do in any of them? X-ray scope's your answer. You're supposed to get the X-ray scope and then just every time you enter a room, just And that's how you'll find all of the secrets in the game on the first playthrough. It won't be fun. You won't enjoy it. But I think if you want 100% and you don't want to follow any kind of guide, that's probably your best bet for finding some of the secrets in this game. I'm probably never going to use it again, to be completely honest. Because I'd, I'd get too caught up in using it, you know. It would be it would become annoying. It's kind of like okay, I don't mean to sound like I'm just shitting on the game. It's kind of like in Mega Man X, right? Just because it's on my brain because I just played it recently. Um, you're kind of supposed to use the charge shot like a lot. Like it just makes life easier. I hate the noise. It irritates the fuck out of me. So I didn't use it. And I could tell that was making the game harder, because everything required so many shots. But I, I didn't fucking like the noise. It it just bugged me so much. Um, obviously, the other problem I had with that was that I was never using any of... Like, every other Mega Man playthrough you can see on the channel, I was just never using any of the beams. Um, I don't. I, I only use them on the boss. <laughs> the boss that they're advised to be used on like i can see the fault is within me it's just i don't think it's a game i i really have the energy for i think i'm more of an rpg person generally speaking rpgs and like metroidvanias i think it's like my two my two genres platformers i guess kind of fall in line with that a bit too But I fucking love RPGs. I just can't play too many of them, or I can't play more than one at a time, really. Because I like to give them, like, my fullest effort, I guess. The best way to put that. And I'm not the kind of, like, stop in between them for a really long time. Um, I don't think... I mean, I, I'm not sure. But I feel like I could probably go from, like, one to another. Like, I feel like once I finish Pokemon Violet, I'll probably do Breath of Fire fairly quickly afterwards. Because to me, they're, they're just fun. I just enjoy them. Uh, I'm not very good at them, generally, because I, I, I fall victim to the um, preserve everything, never use anything uh, method. Or I go the complete other way, and it's waste everything and then wonder why you can't do anything later in the game because you already used all of the special items, you fucking idiot mode. It's one of the two normally. I think the latter one tends to work a little better. Uh, honestly. Because you can still kind of do alright without the special items. You know, the items that you're given throughout the game are generally meant to be used. I think a lot of people just feel reluctant because they're like, I want to save it for the end when it gets really hard. <laughs> uh... I think, like, my mother playthrough is a good example. I think I kind of... <clears throat> kind of, um... Had a good balance of just using what I should be using when I should be using it. I think that one went alright. I remember really enjoying my playthrough of Mother. The only thing I will say is, um... 
I am fairly confident I used a guide for like all of Mother. So if you want an idea of what me playing like an old RPG where I feel like walkthroughs are almost like a necessity is like, uh, look at my Mother playthrough. Because I use... Don't start, dude. I use a uh, walkthrough, I think, throughout the entirety of my mother playthrough. Um, just because it's a really vague game. Really, really vague. I mean, it's an, that's an NES RPG. They only get worse back then. Hey! Sorry. <laughs> Again, I explained this in another playthrough, but that might sound like I'm being a dick. Um, we have a rabbit that will um, scratch on the walls. She's actually worn away some of the wall on one of them. So uh, I have to stop her. But I don't want to be an asshole and tell her no in an aggressive way because they don't actually, well, they don't even understand aggression. Um, but I do like a little scratch slash tap on the wall back and it scares the shit out of her for a second. And she's like, oh fuck, no. And then she stops doing it. But that's what that noise was that you were hearing in the background. In case you were wondering because you're a first time viewer or anything. Um, uh, she's just a little shithead. <laughs> but I don't do it in a way that like traumatizes her or anything. I know rabbits can be quite sensitive. You know, I'm not a first time rabbit owner. I understand the psyche of them and everything. It's just sometimes, you know, I think I hear, I've read like, um, I guess like parenting advice for lack of a better term for it on like how some people raise their rabbits. And I think some people tiptoe a little too hard. Um, they're like too afraid to like tell them off. You just don't do it like by like smacking them, you know, <laughs> that doesn't do anything. But you can like, you know, tap on the wall and be like, no, and they get it. Um, uh, sometimes I sleep in the living room and um, when you're tired, you don't really want to get up and tap on it. So I just go, no, and then they stop. Because they know that no means no. <laughs> because they're not stupid. But I see, I've, I've read so many things online uh, when, I, when I was first like into like us owning rabbits. I say us because they are me and Sari. Sari will be taking them for the record, so... If the noises they make in the background bother you, uh, they won't be there forever. In fact, they shouldn't be there for too much longer, to my understanding. Um, but, um, I read all this, I read all this stuff when I was like initially like, you know, how do you train them? How do you let them know like not to do stuff? And all the stuff I read was like, oh, you just let them. Oh, you just, you just let them do that. They're, they're going to do it anyway. Uh, they have a way of thinking that like they're always right and it's easier to just not bother them and it's like no <laughs> there was one uh, there was one that I read um, our old bunny bunny who passed away at the start of this year uh, he used to like hump a lot of stuff uh, it's actually I mean one of them's a female I don't think they're very um, sexually charged like that and they definitely don't start thrusting things because they're, you know, they're a female. Um, but, uh, the boy, he doesn't actually, he doesn't actually do that. But Bunny was, like, really, like, he, he was down bad for everything. Um, and, um, I read, like, a thing where, like, someone was like, uh, my rabbit keeps trying to hump my foot. What do I do? And the fucking... Even telling it now, it still baffles me. The fucking thing online was like, oh, mine does this fairly often. I just let it hump my foot. They get tired of it and move on eventually. And it's like, that's disgusting. I don't need to hear about your, your foot fucking fetish. And how you use your rabbit to feed into it. That is disgusting. You should not do that. No. Oh, it's too mean to tell them no. Just let it fuck your foot. No! No, I'm not gonna do that! <laughs> no! Absolutely not! And that it, it, that's the absurdity of some of the stuff I've read, is they'd be like, you know, just like, my rabbit is absolutely 
trashing uh, their hutch. They are throwing their litter everywhere. Uh, they are um, pissing and shitting wherever they want. They are just not uh, looking after themselves at all in it. They seem really upset. What do I do? I'll just let them live in the messiness, you know, clean it up every day uh, after they've made the mess. And, uh, you know, every time they do it, just, just you know, smile and, and, and clean up after them, you slave. And it's like, no, actually, <laughs> tell them that what they did is bad. Just don't do it in a way where, like, you're, like, fucking whacking them and stuff, you know? Like, just, so, like, what I do, and they de they tend to get the message across. She can be a little bit of an asshole about it, but I've noticed that, um, uh, our boy, I'm gonna just say their names. They're named after Zelda characters, so we got, uh, her name is Fado, his name is Makar, and, um... We didn't actually litter train Bunny, uh, we just cleaned up after him a lot, um, uh, whereas um, when we got these two, uh, they they started off by kind of being like Bunny, just going wherever they wanted to, but uh, she very quickly started going in like a designated spot, and we were like, oh, okay, because I'd read that like um, they, they like litter train themselves basically if they if they have something that feels like a toilet spot they they'll just do it because again they're not stupid creatures um they're a little arrogant they definitely like when i've read things that are like um they never think they're in the wrong um absolutely if you tell them off it can take telling them off a few times you know just no don't do that no that's what you have to do <laughs> just a little point and a no and they do kind of get it but like they they think that they haven't done anything wrong like all the fucking time um because they'll go back and they'll do it again it's just that the more often you go no and stop them from doing the thing you'll find that they actually do eventually stop doing the thing because they keep getting told no <laughs> and they don't like the word no it's got a horrible inflection to it i think most things register that that is a, a word that means don't um I don't know why the fuck I'm talking about. I don't know who gives a shit about this, by the way. I am sorry. I'm just on autopilot in talking. Um, but yeah, so like they they understand what I mean when I when I tell them no. Uh, it's just that she doesn't really seem to be getting it, or like she thinks she's right still. But I've heard like um, female rabbits tend to be a bit more um, aggressive until they've been spayed. Uh, and with that comes like this this need to like assert dominance and to act like they're the ones in control um, uh, It can happen in male rabbits too. I definitely think in bunny uh, he, he dealt with that quite a bit whereas Makar just doesn't seem to um, But like uh, We got him a litter tray uh, To kind of make up for the fact that like he didn't have like a spot like she did and to try and get him to try and do it too and um <clears throat> he took to it but what we did was we got these puppy pads to absorb the pee so that cleaning up after them wasn't like really fucking gross and they work a wonder they are great the problem is they're made of like papers and stuff so naturally the little shitheads like to dig them up and try to eat them um and i still have to tell her no but i caught him do it like twice and I, I, you know, both times I was like, no, you don't eat that. You can't eat that. I don't know if that's very good. I can't imagine it's good for you to eat. Don't eat that. And he's completely stopped. He hasn't done it in so fucking long. Where she digs hers up almost every time. <laughs> uh, you know, they just, they've got personalities to them. Anyway, I think I'm done rambling about this now. I'm so sorry. This has probably been so boring to listen to. Um, <clears throat> but honestly, I've just I've I've read so many things where people are just like, you know, be a doormat. <laughs> don't ever tell them off. They're too sweet and precious and wonderful. They don't actually word it like that. They're just like, oh, they don't understand it. There's no point even trying. They go all like fucking Ned Flanders parents. <laughs> We've tried nothing and nothing's working, man. Um, it's like, no, no, they, they understand. It's just whether or not they decide to be the kind to, like, say, fuck you, I'm right, you're wrong. Pretty much. 
can't believe I'm here already in the first episode. This is definitely like a two streamer, I think. Oh, this you remember that one time where Jitch played Super Metroid and he spoke about raising rabbits? God, that was such a good one. Honestly, some of his finest work. Going by so quick. I mean, admittedly, I'm almost at two hours. <clears throat> but, like, I don't know. I feel like I normally play this game for so much longer. I feel like normally this is like, oh, I'm like four or five hours in. I don't know. I'm never like an hour and 45. Like, still, still starting with a one. This boss uh, could be really tough, by the way. And there's like no checkpoints available anywhere near him. All about how quick you can get that super missile equipped. I am O. Fuck you. Every single one. Every single one. Why am I doing this so poorly? That's what happens when you uh, super missile him. I think he does this attack or something like that. I was doing good a, a minute ago. There you go. See, I know there is a trick to not getting hit by those. Can I just have some health, pretty please? Come on, I'm ready. I'm ready. Nice elephant noise, bro. What? What the? Yeah, I don't, I don't really know how to avoid the ones that come in from the other side. I think they're here. Yeah. Cool. He's one hit away with a super missile. I'm pretty sure. It's gonna be a close one. I feel like I've lost a lot of health. Fantoon, I think his name is. Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. Oh. What? Huh? Oh, you motherfucker. I really blew it. Appear. Appear, you coward. Done. Done, right? Yes! Yes! 89 health. Wow, okay. For a minute, I thought I was gonna- <laughs> I thought I was gonna die. Okay. Good. I've only just realized that's just the noise he makes, but slowed down drastically. Oh. Such a horrible feeling. It's just like my left eye just starts burning. I really need to get new glasses though, because uh, I mentioned this like a really long time ago. I think it was like <clears throat> like five months ago, maybe something like that. Uh. If I close my eyes and look through my glasses, um, my right eye vision is like 
really clear and my left is like super blurry and my glasses are clean like it's not, it's not like i just need to wipe down a lens um but like my left eyes and i remember when i got a um when i last went to the opticians like four years ago uh because you're supposed to go every i think it's every two years something like that I'm really long overdue. <laughs> um, glasses are expensive. I don't really have the money to just get more. Because I know I'm going to need a new prescription. I just don't have that kind of cash. Um, but, uh... What are you saying? Um, yeah, I remember when I got my eyes tested four years ago, they said that my left eye, you know, it needed a, a stronger lens than my right. And it seems like it needs an even stronger one now. It feels like it's deteriorated more, which is fucking awesome. Okay, this is not where I need to go. Boy, if only I could move quicker in water. I'm wondering where all the energy tanks are. I feel like I'm missing so many. I feel like I normally have a lot more health than this at this point. <clears throat> I feel like I've missed so much in this game, and yet I, I can't think of anywhere that I haven't been. Like, I feel like I've played this as I normally would. Well, barring the fact that I stayed in North Air for so long. There might have been some stuff I missed in Brinstar, actually. Like, as I went up, I think I skimmed over some stuff. Maybe. Or perhaps this connects to Brinstar. And that's what I'm thinking of. It might be that. Down the hole you go. Be my platform. Should really just stand on up and shoot. Rather than like running on the treadmill and having a real hard time with that. Getting electrocuted occasionally. Is there more in this room? That's the question. I have a way of checking and I'm going to use it. I think there's 255 missiles. And like 50 power bombs and 50 super missiles or something like that. Maybe 20. I think there's 20 of one of them actually. Do I seriously have to kill these again? Just to get access to... I did actually need to kill them all again. Well, that's stupid. I complied, I did it, but it's still stupid. <clears throat> What's down here? Oh, okay. Just a door. Uh, yeah, you know me. You know me. It's all gotta be pink. If it ain't pink... Uh, just a second. Shit. Okay. Sure, you go for it. Alright, why not? Okay. There was uh, <clears throat> <It's> a... <laughs> you just want more rabbit stories, don't you? <laughs> there's, a, there's a, like a little wooden... It's not really much of a story, don't worry. Um, there's like a little wooden divider thing in the hutch. Um, and it like wouldn't slot in properly, so I just was like, ah, they don't really need it. They don't really seem to give a shit about it anyway. I've never really understood the purpose in them. <clears throat> so I didn't put it in. But the slot that it goes into, 
uh, she has absolutely fucking destroyed. I never noticed until just now. It's just loads of like broken chips of wood. <laughs> like she's just chewed away at so much of it. Um, yeah, sure, why not? It's not getting any other use. It's not a problem. They're supposed to chew on shit anyway, so again, it's really not it's really not a bad thing. Oh, there's an uh, ability I don't have yet. Um, be nice if I could jump as a ball. Is all I'm saying. Wait a minute. Am I? No. No, I'm not. Is there no way back up? Oh wait, I mean, you could probably, with enough determination, I don't know, maybe I just, there you go. I was gonna say, cause below me is the original entrance to the wreck ship. And let me just say, I don't wanna go back through all of that again to get up here. Um, is there anything else around here? I don't think there's anything worthwhile. Maybe. Maybe there's something worthwhile. What's this for? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not really sure. Probably been in before. In a playthrough in the past. But it's not ringing any bells right now. <clears throat> as I keep losing my voice whilst talking. I don't know what's going on with me lately. I keep losing my voice like every recording. I mean, this is like the most I've recorded in a really long time. Oh, you had to go this way. Right. Where the hell did that other door take me to then? The one I dropped to? It does make me wonder. He has no item, so I will be the item. Ball. <laughs> I must awaken for ball. God, no spoilers, but I can't look at a Chozo without thinking of the final boss fight in uh, Metroid Dread now. Hands down. Bullshit is all hell. Hands down, bullshit as all hell. All I will say about it, uh, to, to justify bullshit as all hell, uh, is one hit kill boss. Lots of moves, anytime it hits you, instant death. Uh, one of the hardest and yet greatest boss fights I've ever played in any game, period. It's a really, really weird feeling because I hate that it's one hit and you're dead. And I think it took me, if I remember right, over an hour to beat that boss. But when you do, mm, it's beautiful. It's, it's definitely well done. She's decided that she's just going to absolutely destroy that wood some more. So I'm sorry for any background noise there. I didn't... I don't know when she started doing that. Yeah, it's definitely her too. What is this? Oh, another reserve tank. <laughs> I just blast myself away. more secret here? Why is there like a passageway that like... Oh. Dude, no, don't do that. Alright, well. About an hour ago, I got the Vari... Va now I don't know what the right way of saying it is. The Varia suit. And now I got the gravity suit. Purple. I love the gravity suit. A 
and now I can move in water. Like it's nothing. I mean, it kind of is, you know, but it's not really much of anything, if we're being honest. Other than us, we, we are water. We are living water. <clears throat> okay. I'll finish up the wrecked ship. Uh, I kind of wanted to do Pokemon... I really wanted to do Pokemon Violet tonight, but, like... I've been live for two hours and 16 minutes and I haven't had a single chat message. I don't know if I should do Pokemon Violet tonight. I mean, I do get the impression that uh, anyone who would um, sometimes like drop in, they just read the word Metroid and went, nope. So I could change the name of the stream and that might change. Ah, oh, dude, no, come on. Um, that might change things. That's so fucking loud when she does that. I've I've heard it in recordings. Like it's it's bad. <laughs> I'm sorry. Two more months, max, to my understanding. Two more months, <laughs> and then the most you'll hear is uh, a cat when I get one. I ain't doing no fucking rabbits. They're too noisy and messy. Really fucking messy. And stinky. I do miss Bunny a lot though. I don't wanna feel like I'm just shitting on rabbits. Oh, it was just a tease. It was just a be like, look, there's a reserve tank here. How do you get it? <laughs> That's crazy. Well, <clears throat> I got it. So joke's on you. Yeah, I feel like there's really not that much of the game left to do. Like there is and there isn't. There's all of um, Meridia, and there's the Ridley side of North Air. So sick of killing all of these enemies just to be able to go through a fucking door. <laughs> what have I missed? What? What have I missed? This? I really want to know why I have so few energy tanks. Like, maybe I normally do at this point, but four just feels so low. Because, yeah, there's Meridia, and then there's, like, the Ridley section. And that's it. Unless, like, all of the energy tanks are just being held in that area. I think there might be one along this bit. I mean, they tend to be a little harder to get to, and I definitely got through that flawlessly. Why don't I think there's something in here? <clears throat> you know what I wish? I wish there was a quicker way to equip the, the x-ray beam. I wish there was just a button for the x-ray beam, like L. I guess L was already in use. To be fair, every button on the, on the Super Nintendo controller was already in use. That's why this game needs a remake. This game will probably get a remake eventually. That reminds me, like, two hours ago I said, you know, I don't have a Metroid 1 playthrough. If you're wondering why that is, it's because uh, when I get to it on my list, I'm going to do Zero Mission, which is pretty much just one, but uh, actually good because it's not an NES game. Yeah, I really fucking hate the NES. Like, li hey, no! Like, the best NES game is still, like, probably, like, a 4 or 5 out of 10. And it's it's probably, like, Zelda 2. I think that's probably what I'd say is the best NES game. Because the Mario games, they're, they're, they're good. Like, Mario 3 is good. But um, when I think Mario 3, I think Mario 3 in the All-Stars collection. I never think Mario 3 uh, NES because it controls like ass. In comparison. And it pretty much is that for any of the Mario games that are on the NES. They all just play so much better on the, on the All-Stars collection. They may not look as good in your opinion. You may not even like the soundtrack, that's fine. 
You don't have to, but you're lying if you say that they play better on the NES. <clears throat> I honestly think we're at a point where like pretty much anything that was good or worth redeeming on the NES, which really isn't much anyway, uh, should just get like a remake. Which generally, you know, there's like a fan-made remake for a lot of the stuff out there. Um, there was a remake in the works by the... Um, I can't remember their name now, I'm so sorry. Uh, the creator of um, Castlevania 2 Revamped that I played uh, many, many years ago in a now pretty much forever lost playthrough. Um, yeah, um, holy shit, she is just being so noisy today. Uh, they were making a remake for Zelda 2, but the last time I looked at their website, it hasn't been updated in a really long time. Like, I think, like, coming on to 10 years-ish. So I think that's been dropped. I think their name was just like Metroid Fan 88 or something like that. Something quite simple. I think it had the word Metroid and I'm sure of that. It's just funny because they hadn't remade a Metroid game. I don't think anyway. But I'm sure a great Super Metroid remake will be out one day, even if it's fan-made. Anyway, um, that was my first sitting of Super Metroid. I'm a little nervous that I only have four energy tanks at Meridia. I feel like I normally have way more than this, I feel. Um, I don't know what's going on with that, but hey, if I end up having to beat the game with like six energy tanks, I guess I have to beat the game with six energy tanks. I'm not really looking to 100% this, I'm just having fun and rolling with it, you know? Uh, but uh, I will I will just go ahead and say that's going to be it for this episode. Um, I might stay live. I have not had a single viewer since that one click. <laughs> An hour and ten minutes ago, I've been live for two and a half hours. See, I just, I don't know, I, I know I should be upset, but to me, it's almost funny. I don't know how to explain it, it's just funny. It's like, it's like using the word Super Metroid as like a viewer repellent. <laughs> and I just find that really entertaining. Um, <coughs> but yeah, I'm gonna close off here. Um, next time when I come back, I probably gonna finish this game I can't imagine it's gonna take too long it might be more like a three hour video to be fair but it's probably only gonna be a two-part playthrough at this rate so yeah I'll see you next time goodbye <laughs>